Now, if you remember the description of those who have a high place in paradise, they are Ibad rahman the servants of the Most Merciful. They are people of both exceptional worship and character. This group of people is able to bear the difficulties that come with dealing with people in this world precisely because of how deeply connected they are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Ibad rahman have a special place from Ar-Rahman. They are servants of the Most Merciful, who will be rewarded generously by the Most Merciful. They will be rewarded with high dwellings because of their patience. So recall the verses in Surah Al-Furqan about them, and then the narration of Abu Malik al-Ash'ari radiallahu anhu, when he said that the Prophet ﷺ said that there are dwellings in paradise, the inner of which is seen from the outside, and the outside from inside. Who are they for, Ya Rasulullah? The Prophet ﷺ said, Allah has prepared them for the one who feeds the poor, the one who fasts consistently, the one who prays at night when other people are sleeping. So these are people of prayer, fasting, and charity that ignore the harms of the people of this world, fearing the harm of the hereafter, and seeking its highest reward. But if you break them down into categories, the first category that is here is the one who feeds the poor. And this is the practice of shukur, the practice of gratitude. The Prophet said, Afshu salam wa at'imu ta'am. Spread salam and feed the people. Then the Prophet said, the one who fasts consistently. And this is the practice of sabr, of patience. The Prophet mentioned a special gate in paradise for those who fast and a huge distance of a journey of 70 years placed between you and hellfire for every day that you fast. So the more distant you are from hellfire, the higher you are in paradise. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the one who prays at night while others sleep. And this is the practice of ihsan, of excellence. Now this is at the core of it. This is what gives you the strength and sincerity to continue. It's standing up at night in the privacy of your home, connecting to your Lord. Tahajjud is where the Jannah of the heart is. And now Tahajjud gets you a literal palace in Jannah. Now in another narration, the Prophet ﷺ also said, I guarantee a home in the outskirts of paradise, the suburbs of paradise, for the one who avoids arguing even when they are right. And this is the practice of hilm, forbearance. You know, it takes so much to restrain yourself in an argument especially when you know you can win the argument, but you choose to be patient with people and win a home in paradise instead of winning the argument. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a home in the middle of paradise for the one who avoids lying, even when joking. And this is the practice of warak, being cautious. You know, truthfulness is the highest virtue and you don't want to sacrifice your place in paradise as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that truthfulness leads to Jannah. And here specifically, being truthful, even when it's convenient to not be truthful, grants you a home in paradise. And in summary of it all, and it's not just one quality, the Prophet ﷺ said, and I guarantee a home in the highest part of paradise for the one who excels in character. Because if you are seeking to excel in your character, Allah is going to unlock all of these good qualities for you. And the Prophet ﷺ, who excelled in every good quality, said that the closest to me in Jannah are the people with the best character. So when you excel in your character, you don't just build a beautiful home for yourself. You also guarantee the most beautiful neighbor in Jannah that you could possibly have.